What are lifting tongs used for? Uh, in a backyard foundry, I have a furnace that's burning of fuel, and inside this furnace will get hot enough to melt metal, in my case, aluminum. Well, how do I get the metal into the furnace and out of the furnace? Well, I use a crucible. So the lifting tongs are used to grasp this crucible and place it into your furnace. And once the aluminum melts, I use these lifting tongs to carefully pull this crucible out of the furnace and place it where I need to. Okay, now that I uh, made the plunge and you saw me drill holes in the, uh, in the bar, I'm just going to use some hardware that I have uh, to put it together. There is going to be a slight gap between the two bars, so for now I'm just going to use a, a nut as a spacer. And eventually when I get my lathe up and running, something like making the perfect size spacer would work out. But uh, I think this will work and if it becomes a problem I can always just drill out the threads but let's see how it works. Well there's a close-up shot. You can see that there was a space between the two bars and that's due to how these bends sort of fall into one another so I had a little bit of a gap so I put a nut in as a spacer and uh, it's not pretty but I think it'll hold. So my plan was to use the stock uh, as the fingers that will grasp the crucible and I was going to use this device here that I got uh, to uh, to do really good bends with where this is uh, just a bit too tall for this thing and it's also a little bit too short so there's not enough room for this lever action to take place it uh, I think I need at least like 10 inches um, for it to get to get a good round bend so instead since I have plenty of this I'm just going to use the same bar stock that uh, I'm making the tongs out of Nice. Uh, let's see how this fits. It's pretty good. Just a little adjustment. Okay, let me do two more of these for the one more of this for the bottom, and then I'll do a couple for the top. Nice clean cut. Well, now that I have all my pieces cut, I'm just going to uh, go clean these up on the uh, bench grinder and I'll do that off camera. And then we're going to be welding. Alright, it's time to uh, weld these onto the handles.
And here is the final product. Uh, I don't think my welds are going to win any beauty contests, but I'm pretty confident that they'll hold. Uh, I had to do some tweaking and hit these with a sledgehammer just to form them around the uh, crucible so they would grasp the crucible a little bit better. And uh, they seem to hold up. So here's the action. And uh, let's see how it handles the crucible. What I did is I filled it up with uh, these ingots from previous pours just so I can simulate the actual weight of a full crucible. I'm not exactly sure how heavy this is, but it's got to be it's got to be anywhere from five to seven pounds of uh, metal in there. So let's see how we do. Alright, my handles are fully closed, the fingers wrap around the crucible nicely, no issues, nice and tight. I'm pretty happy. Alright, I can say she's officially done. Uh, I cleaned her up a bit, um, spray painted the bottom part with high temperature black paint and did the handles with the silver high temperature paint and I also decided to do some 90 degree, degree bends at the top so what the tees will do what I'm worried about is uh, with gloves on that the the handles might slip through my gloves so these tees will prevent that and give me a nice good grip I think the only thing that I'll do is eventually I'll replace this hardware with a rivet. There she is, I can't wait to use her.